I remember neighbors talking about when the river used to come down orange, how it used to get cleaned on its own and then come back orange again. Nearly two centuries of mining have come at a cost for the historic Colorado town of Leadville. Although its river now runs clear and is a sought after destination for recreation, piles of old mine waste still pollute the soil and water. The Environmental Protection Agency has been cleaning it up for decades. One company says it can help. It would extract more gold and silver from the old mining piles and properly dispose of the new waste. The idea of reprocessing old waste has, is, as, is as old as mining is itself. And these dumps have been processed and reprocessed since probably 1910, 1920. Today, we're coming back to these. They have value, and more importantly, they need to be cleaned up. The waste would be trucked to a nearby mill, crushed to powder, washed in cyanide to extract trace amounts of precious metals, then detoxified. That material is placed in a lined facility to prevent metals, any other kind of metals, or any, any other deleterious materials from leaching into the environment. I think that's my biggest issue right now, is that realistically, how well can they really prevent this from happening? I have a 14-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 6-year-old, so definitely creates for me a concern of their generations, how that's going to affect them and their children and so on. Backers say the Leadville proposal would speed cleanup work that's languished for decades. They speak of a circular economy for mining, where leftovers get repurposed and virgin land is protected. Yet for some residents, reviving the city's depressed mining industry and stirring up waste piles brings them back to a polluted past they don't want to revisit. We're sitting in a river that 20 years ago, fish couldn't survive in. Now it's arguably the longest stretch of gold medal fishing, not just in Colorado, but in the country. Why risk that? You know, there are other historic mining towns in Colorado that have even more potential gold to be extracted out of them. So I have to ask, why Leadville? You know, in the event of there being a mine waste emergency, it would really impact our tourism. And we do want to remediate it, but we want to do it in a way that's, you know, done for the community, not just done for some random company that has no track record. Experts have cautiously embraced private investment to speed mine cleanup, convincing communities that investors can prioritize both public health and profit. That remains to be seen.